What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Killer Cam Friend coming back at you with another Mad 24 banger and today we're going to be going over the absolute best offense in Madden 24. Um, this is an offense I just started running. I think it is really, really good. If you guys know me, I do not run meta offenses. I am not going to be in trips tight end, um, bunch tight end, uh, bunch, you know, uh, tight offset tight end. I just am not going to run those things. Um, all of the meta route combos we can implement into our own offense. Anything that's good in the game, we will still take from those other offenses and put it into our offense. But I think this offense is better than those offenses right now because we have some of the best stock routes in the game. At a point in Madden Ultimate Team when we don't have Hot Route Master or any route apprentices outside of maybe one um, running back apprentice or one outside apprentice, in Chad Johnson and Franco Harris. We really don't have much to work with in terms of hot routes, and we don't really need the hot routes in this offense, and we also have some of the best run plays in the game, and a wide variety of different run plays, and running is really, really good this year, guys. I think it's super underrated, and once this first Madden tournament um, gets to the live event, I think you guys are gonna see how good running the ball really is. But the way we're gonna do this, I'm gonna take you through my audibles, how I set my audibles, um, for the formation that we're going to go over and then we're going to go over how I like to set up my route combos versus every single coverage real quickly that way we don't take up too much of your time I know I've been rambling a little bit let's hop right into this every video I have comments asking me what playbook I'm in this formation is going to be found in the run balance playbook it's the same in mutt and in regs I'm not in the balance playbook I'm not in the pass balance playbook I'm not in the run heavy playbook I am in the run balance playbook and the formation we're going to go over today is y off trio this is a very very good formation and i like to set my audibles just like this curl flat halfback stretch y swallow crotch right shallow cross and mesh um these are some really really good plays and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to take advantage of certain zones and how we can fry man coverage online so before we get into this i did do a couple videos going over this playbook uh, for a intro to Madden 24 scheme uh, when Madden 23 was still out and Madden 24 hadn't dropped yet but Madden 24 is a lot different than Madden 23 so I want to show you guys exactly how we're going to utilize these route combos and uh, certain things in Madden 24 because like I said we don't have any of the hot route master or apprentice abilities so we really can't do too much in terms of hot routes and even those of you guys that do have like the outside apprentice and running back apprentice uh, those cards are really really expensive I think Franco Harris like 300k but Chad Johnson I just sold him because he was like 700,000 coins I don't think he's worth all that um, you guys will get a free outside apprentice and DeAndre Hopkins in the field pass eventually he's like an 86 overall pretty good card but I just wanted to get into that before we hop too deep into the video um, I did go over this offense a few weeks back when Madden 23 was still the Madden game out before Madden 24 launched but um, Madden 24 is so much different than we anticipated. So I want to get down to the uh, bare bones of this offense and really show you guys how to utilize it in this year's game. All right, so before we get too deep into Y off trio, uh, we're going to get a little bit into single back wide trips. And the reason for that is because these formations go hand in hand. Uh, we're going to use them in conjunction to... Basically, um, they're basically going to be the same formation for us. The When you audible from one to another, they really look almost exactly the same. Um, there are different run calls in them, which are cool. We have counter, we have a zone weak alert bubble, and then we're going to set our other audibles to smash and mesh. I know this mesh seems very similar to the other mesh. It looks almost identical. That's because it is almost identical, and I'm going to show you guys what the big difference is here shortly. There are a couple other plays in this that we could use, um, but we're going to be audibling over from Y off trio to Y off trips. We're going to be taking a look at some other formations in this ebook series as well. Most of them are going to have the same personnel, which is going to be three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. Um, we're also going to take a look at single back trips eventually, but for right now, we're going to look at Y off trio and Y trips. Uh, now, basically, I'm going to come out in, I'm come out in any play, I'll come out in power row, just like I normally do. 
And um, when you audible over two single back wide trips, that's how much your players move. That's how similar these formations are. They could have just made them one formation, uh, but they didn't, and I'm glad they didn't for a couple different reasons. Basically, it gives us um, eight audibles out of the same formation instead of the four that we normally would have, because obviously when you audible over anything from this formation, um, basically they move like half an inch. <laughs> uh, the wide receiver moves off the line and it gives us a wider variety of run plays at our disposal so if we come out in the power uh, we can also have the stretch but we can audible from the stretch to the counter or from the counter to the uh, zone alert weak which is an RPO as well and like I said before RPOs are one of those things that the AI cannot shoot so we can audible to a run that the AI cannot um, basically guess run on and blow up in the backfield every single time which is super super key so the first play we're gonna go over is crow flat and um, we're gonna go up against a random coverage and this is one of those plays that's just really really good against pretty much everything we missed the pass right there um, but crow flat is really really good every single year against a variety of different coverages right there we got knocked out uh, just because of the X factor it came in a little late but the crow flat combo on both sides of the field is awesome against zone coverage. Um, it's going to do a great job at pulling down flats with that flat route and uh, getting underneath deep routes with that curl. As we see, we can throw that curl there pretty much every single time. And you always have the option to throw to the flat as well uh, to the tight end. Last year, high ball into the tight end and the flats was really good. Obviously, this year, not so much. High balls are... Uh, severely nerfed but we do have the option to dump it down to the tight end in the flats every single time and pick up a couple yards maybe not super consistently but the main reason we have that flat there is to pull down into kind of deep zones as we can see against random coverage um, we have pretty much anything we want to throw on this play open we also have the swing route to the running back and the main read and what's going to keep the user on its toes is the post over the middle because it does a great job at getting separation against man coverage. You can also throw both those curls against man coverage. So most plays we're not going to go over just like that, uh, how we did curl flat. I went up against a random defense for a curl flat. Most of these plays I'm going to give you certain setups against um, whatever coverage we're going to use them against. Um, for this, we're going to come out in four verticals, and four verticals we'll really only use in a cover two or cover three formation. Um, basically, all we're going to do at a cover three is hit that seam from that slot route. Um, it's basically a little bit of a inverted streak, so if we can hit the seam on that possession catch down the middle, we'll have a nice little gain. And then we also have the crosser over the middle, uh, which they will probably use her. It will get deep <clears throat> if they do not use her. It. Um, it does a really good job attacking the middle of the field. For the rest of this play, you can put your running back on like an out route or something, in route, out route, really whatever you want to do. But we're going to be looking for is the seam right there against a cover three. So I'm going up against cover two right now. Um, basically the only other time that we're going to use this play and really all we're going to do with the cover two right here is try to hit the sideline on the wide side of the field. we got to keep our uh, three receivers to the wide side of the field. That way we can try to hit that seam really late and hopefully get a big completion right there. We are able to hit the seam down the sideline for a one play touchdown. Now even if they play their flats at like 30, um, if they're not backed off, you will still be able to get this over the flat for a one-play touchdown. Uh, it is a little sketchy sometimes, as we see right there. It almost got intercepted. But this is a throw that you can consistently make. Uh, just make sure that it's open when you throw it. We can also throw the seam right down the middle like that if we can split the seam with that inverted streak from the slot receiver. All right, so we're coming out to play Y Shallow Cross. One thing I want you guys to note about this play, we see where Christian Watson is aligned. He is lined in the slot. Now think about that. If I audible back over to curl flat, same formation, he's going to go to the outside. So it is a little bit of a giveaway that you're running um, either this play or another play that we're going to go over momentarily. But anything with an auto motion uh, from that outside receiver is going to, uh, that, that outside receiver on the left 
is going to play in the slot. Now, the cool thing about that is he's still considered an outside receiver as far as the game goes. He's going to get outside receiver hot routes. If you do have an outside apprentice or a hot route master, you can put him on C routes. You can put him on these deep, skinny post route. You can put him on fade stops. And you can put him on um, the corner post routes. I believe that's the other route. But this right here is a, is a pretty good play stock against zone coverage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put our running back on an option route, and we are going to snap the ball. Now, I like to put my running back on an option route because it's going to pull down any kind of zones in the middle of the field just enough for us to be able to hit that post over the middle. Now, I want you guys to realize that if you're playing in an online game, um, your opponent is probably using one of those middle linebackers that are in hooks right there. Basically, we're going to try to fit that in right over the middle. Now, that deep third um, is doing a really, really good job at guarding that right now. But the thing about that is he has universal coverage active. Uh, I can't take it off him. <clears throat> and that also is Ed Reed, who's one of the best cards in the game. Obviously, we're getting shed, but if nothing's there, you can always hit that option route to the running back. One thing you can also do is... Um, you can streak this receiver instead of putting him on that auto motion route. And if we do that, we're going to put our running back on a smart route curl route, and we're going to drag X. And the reason we do this, uh, basically what we're going to look for is this on the sideline. It's a little bit of a sketchy throw, I know. Obviously, right there, we could not hit the throw. But if they are playing underneath, um, then it's really, really good route combo and that uh, basically that streak is going to pull any kind of deep zones far enough away from that wheel route for us to make that throw right there. Obviously we couldn't make the throw but there is a little window that you can throw it in against a cover three um, in that situation. Other than that um, our other route combo against any kind of zone coverage would be to streak our tight end. We're going to put this guy on a zig and we're going to put our running back on a streak as well. This is going to help clear out any kind of deep zones over the middle and hopefully give us a nice little window uh, to throw that right there. Obviously, we've got a poor accuracy. Um, super frustrating. We get poor accuracies in this game all the time. But, again, this is going to be the route combo. Uh, you can also put your running back on an out route. But I like to put him on a streak. To help clear out any kind of deep zones also uh, we will have a nice little window for this in route to be thrown over the middle if their user does follow that post um, basically backside post in route kind of a high low read over the middle almost like slant post but obviously slant in route uh, that stock route from the running back isn't bad either you can keep him on that if you just want like a little dump down but overall this play is pretty good against zone coverage so against any kind of man defense, basically what we're going to do here is we are going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, put our slot receiver right here on a zig route. We're going to put our running back on an option route or an out route. And then we're going to put our guy here on a slant. Christian Watson is going to go on a slant. We're going to leave our tight end on that drag. And this is going to do a great job of getting separation against man coverage all over the field. Right there, he ran that route a little bit weird. Now, that is Wondell Robinson. I could probably have somebody else there. Um, but I have Wondell Robinson maxed out. He's like 85 speed. He's nothing special. Uh, you can also leave that... Um, you can leave Christian Watson on an in route. I just like the uh, slant a little bit better. It does a little bit better job at getting separation against man. As we see right there, I try to hit the slant over the middle. Almost threw an interception, under threw that ball just a little bit. But if we hopped into instant replay, we would see that um, everything does a pretty good job at getting separation against man. Obviously, the whip route, butt naked against man coverage. Um, this post. <clears throat> if he gets bumped right here, sometimes he'll run his route a little bit weird, but generally it does a decent job against man coverage. Obviously, the tight end drag is going to get enough separation for us to throw it against man coverage, and the uh, running back and the running back um, option route also does a great job against man. So this overall is a pretty good play against man coverage. I know man coverage is pretty sticky online right now, um, so I'm going to show you guys a few really good ways to beat it. 
So speaking of beaten man coverage, the main reason that we are running this formation is because of this play mesh. Now against man coverage, all you have to do is snap the ball. I'm going to try to buy as much time as possible, which obviously was not very much time. Um, but this play is great, great, great against man coverage. Um, as you can see right there, we have the auto motion drag. Let me try to buy a little bit of time. Obviously, we rolled, rolled out with the quarterback right there. Um, but I want to hop into instant replay and show you guys what it was possible to throw. The drag from um, the auto motion, obviously, sometimes it gets bagged. Um, the auto motion drags are not the best this year. If he kept his momentum um, and ran straight into that drag, it would be a lot better. But if you guys notice, there's a man switch at the very last second on this. And that gives um, this corner out one an opportunity to get open to the sideline because he has outside leverage. And two, um, it makes it to where this, this corner route cannot get pressed. Uh, because of that switch at the very last second. I know it seems a little bit weird, but this route right here cannot get pressed. And then we also have the tight end post from Oconquo right here, and he does a great job of getting separation against that um, that DB right there with his tight end post. This play is great against man coverage. We have a really, really sharp corner route. We have a tight end post. As we see right there, we're able to hit the corner route really, really easy, and the tight end post is also going to get great separation against man coverage. Now, if you do have um, Franco Harrison Mutt, or if you're playing regs and you have somebody with tight end apprentice, I'm sorry, not tight end apprentice, running back apprentice, or you have like a slot apprentice, if you have a slot apprentice, you can put Watson on a crosser, um, and you can put your running back on like an angle route, but this play is just so so good at getting separation against man which i know everybody in madden ultimate team is struggling with right now <laughs> man coverage is really really good and this is one of the best quick snap plays in the game it doesn't give your opponent very much time to get off any adjustments as we see we are consistently able to hit both the corner route and the post route and then we also always have the drag over the middle you can make this drag a slant if you want to get a little bit better separation against man um, but overall uh, we have pretty much everything we need right here in one play. This is really good against man, but it's also really good against zone. Let's hop into our favorite zone beating setups out of this play. So against the cover three, all we're going to do here is streak circle, and we're going to snap the ball. We have a high-low read over the middle from the tight end post and the drag. We also have the drag coming to the sideline on the right side to pull down any kind of flat zones and then again we have that little window right there we can throw the tight end post now if you are running this to the short side uh, what you can do right here to help out is you can actually um, put your running back on a streak and you can't or a wheel and that's going to help pull any kind of zones uh, on that right side up just enough for us to throw that tight end um, tight end post route obviously right there we got screamed at which is happening a lot in practice mode we do not have much time to throw the ball but if we did have time you guys see that x was getting wide open on that tight end post on the sideline if we just had a little bit of time we would be able to throw it and then again we have the corner route and we have the drag if i can get this across the field and i can't we got a poor accuracy out of bounds Again, poor accuracies are super, super frustrating in this year's Madden. It kind of is what it is. Uh, but you're going to have a lot more time in online games than you guys are in practice mode. For whatever reason, that is the case. If we are finally able to complete one, we hit that tight end post on the sideline for an absolutely massive gain. And if you guys have been paying any attention, this corner route has been open every single time, even to the short side of the field right there. Nice, easy throw on the sideline, get out of bounds, gain about 20 yards. And if you guys remember, we talked about a different formation at the beginning of this video. Um, single back wide trips, and we also put mesh from single back wide trips on our audibles. Um, now the thing about this is that the corner route from single back wide trips uh, from Devin Hester 
is going to be a lot steeper corner route. It's not going to do as good of a job at beating man coverage, but it's going to do way better at getting into a great spot for zone coverages. As we see, that corner route is a lot steeper. If we go back to our normal play, um, it hits the sideline a lot faster, which is better for a man-beating purpose, but for a zone-beating purpose, um, this play from single back from single back Y trips is a little bit better than the single back Y off trio route. The only real other difference here is that our running back is on a swing route by default. So really all we gotta do here is put him on an out route or a streak, whatever you guys want. We go ahead and snap the ball. And we're able to gain even more yards on that corner route. See, we picked up about 30 yards instead of about 20 yards right there. And it's also awesome to have another different kind of corner route at your disposal uh, without having to hot route it. Because obviously we do not have hot route master and we can't make those kind of things happen uh, without being able to audible to this different formation. They, Your opponent probably won't even know you audible be honest with you so if they're setting 20 yard zone drops to try to stop that first corner route um, you can just audible over to this other corner route and they will really have no idea what to do because <laughs> it runs about 10 yards deeper um, and you really can't guard it on the sideline the same way that you can with the other corner route now it does take longer to get downfield so obviously if there's a chance that the pressure gets there uh, but if we see I throw this corner route I'm gonna throw it to about the 30 yard line if I pass lead it, yep, about the 30 yard line. With the other corner out, we got it all the way down to the 15. Now I could have pass led that upfield just a little bit more, but you see there is a big, big difference in where, where we are throwing this ball. Obviously I don't have zone drops on, um, so we do get pressed right there, but we're able to hit that uh, all the way down inside the 15 yard line about a 15 yard difference in where we're catching that ball and that's going to make a huge difference in both your opponent's zone drops and how they play zone coverage against you all right boys that's going to do it for today's video if you did like the video make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new and stay notified for all incoming madden 24 videos from your boy we will have multiple parts to this series so don't miss out make sure you are subscribed so you can check out this full scheme in its gloriness this is going to help you win way more games online if you guys are big runners we have everything for you in this ebook series if you guys are big passers like myself that we will have a great variety of route combos that you will not need any kind of apprentices for um, this is a really really good early game Madden 24 scheme I think you guys are going to love it and I'm going to be putting out videos consistently helping you guys dominate online in Madden 24 as always it's your boy Killer Cam Friend and I'll see you guys in the next one peace